Hey, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today, I'd like to show you how you can translate MailChimp form. So, most of the nonprofit organizations in Canada uh, should have both English and French. So, they have most time you, you need a French translation. And you want to separate some French audience too, the Francophone. This is a nonprofit organization I work for. And uh, so, they have a uh, specific for the French audience. We got the translate the, the newsletter. We have a um, dedicated audience for MailChimp. Now you go to here, this drop down menu here. So you see the sign up form. So click this. And then there are different types of form you can build and embed it to your website. And I'm going to just simply choose form builder we need to translate email first name and last name so it's kind of simply click and then replace with this field and hit save so you have to save each time i just leave the field tag as it is as a default And the form title here, you can edit or remove. And here you can put the translation as well. And hit save and close. I don't have the translation yet. Now the next one is, you see lots of people miss this tag. It's called translated. And here are different types of field. Even subscribe button was not really translated. Right. So just hit the translate tag here. Now here, there's the auto translation, even French, France and Canada. Of course I pick Canada. And then it's automatically translated. Now, if you like to put your own translation, you can type it manually too. So I'm gonna just save translation setting. And you can just use this link uh, if you want to use for your website. Well, you take a look, quick look here. And here we go. So I can put the name, uh, email address, first name. Oh, no, <laughs> I should do that. Just one sec. Yeah, for some reason, I didn't hit the save. All right. And hit save. All right, so let's refresh this. All right, now it changed. So. It's really quick and then uh, lots of people probably don't know about this uh, handy tool. So uh, I hope you learn something quick, new and then um, hope this helped and see you next time.